Hey, this is Notzer, and we're in the Friedrich der Grossa. This is the Tier 9 German battleship. It's got 420 blazing. Ah, oh, yeah. 105 HE shell penetration. Oh, my. Not that anyone would use HE shells, but uh, it's there. So the build is pretty simple. Manual secondary build. There's nothing else to it. Aggressive, forward pushing. I really enjoyed the German battleships for that very reason, and this is no exception. I think the best thing I can do is move forward into the enemy, cut a swath through them, and take them all down. Now, you might see an enemy hipper and I'm trying to get the shot, because everyone knows this guy's gonna die so quick. Whatever your choice was, hipper, it wasn't the correct one, because the primary flank for my team is this flank. We've got at least five or six ships and a cruiser marching forward to his death. Um, yeah, it's just not going to work out for him. So he's in range of the secondaries. The secondary is going to open up. I could fire my gun. However, I don't think it's appropriate. Secondaries, of course. If, if, if we get a kill, we get a kill. You know, I'm not going to complain. But uh, the real prize is trying to capture D point and assist with that capture. Set the Montana as the primary secondary target. Say that, primary secondary. Set it as my secondary target and go from there. Now, what, what are the Germans really good at now, sir? No, not everyone plays them like this. This is what they're good at. They have almost immune citadels at close range, so you need to try and exploit that. And I didn't really realize that there's a couple of destroyers in front of me and I sort of for half a second, set up, and oh, he's showing so much side. Ugh, but the German guns. The German guns let me down. Oh boy, that accuracy. Whew. I aim for the waterline. That's exactly where you needed to aim. But it didn't work out. So we're still going to move forward. We're still we're going to battle. Charge! Battle cry for our team. Get those Montanas into the fight. Let's go. Use... The hydroacoustic, of course, to protect ourselves from the possible torpedoes. And if if the enemy destroyers spend too much time, you know, picking their noses or checking their watch, we might catch up to them and force them to take damage that maybe they didn't want to take. Who really wants to take damage? I want to take damage. We need to get our drill and rush going. So, more torpedoes incoming. Hydroacoustic easily protects us from that. Secondaries are still going off on the Montana. So I'm going to go on the outside of the first set, and I'm going to go inside the two wide torpedoes. And I should safely go by it. Now, I don't know how long this smoke is going to last. It's from my enemy. Mortal enemy. Kagero. Waterline shot again, and as predicted, the Germans don't let me down with that accuracy. Uh, that's where you want to shoot. Waterline. But we didn't get it. Secondary is still going off on the Montana. Who is going to die soon? My team still refusing to push forward. Uh, 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 but we might die. I don't want to. Secondaries take out the target. Again, waterline shot. Yeah, that was really close. Really close to the Citadel. Should have honestly gotten the Citadel with that one, but I'm not going to complain much. <laughs> I want that Iowa dead. Der Grosse is going after me over there. The Great. Why do you say the Great? Why not Friedrich? Der Grosse is more fun for an American to say than Friedrich. That's the real truth. Der Grosse. Der Grosse, Der Grosse, Der Grosse. And all I see is F Der Grosse. You know. Middle finger that Der Grosse. <laughs> but uh, he's going to be an annoying pest. He's going to get my side. He's going to do full damage. We're going to try and return fire with secondaries. I'm going to try and get right at that top hull. Man. Three shells drop short. Really? It felt like it was a good aim. Maybe I could have aimed it just slightly higher. Maybe it was just a touch too slow. But we have had awful, awful gun dispersion. But we've done 76,000 damage. It feels like most of that's going to be secondaries. <laughs> and fires but we get back on that horse God. 
What is with the accuracy? Chat. Viewers. What's going on? I'm missing everything. And of course, two fires set on me. Uh, I'll be lucky if I survive this, honestly. My team! My team on this flank is so afraid of taking damage. Uh, if you've got a friendly battleship that is taking all the attention away from you, you need to exploit that. You need to do a lot massive damage to the enemy. Don't pass this up. They could easily engage the Iowa, engage the Friedrich der Grossa, and do, do tons of damage. I'm the one over here dying. And they're full life. And they're just now getting to this point. Oh, oh we don't want to move too fast, okay? We gotta make sure, make sure. Oh. And at this point, it looks bad, right? Like, I'm gonna die. Obviously, I'm gonna die. And my team is taking forever to push on this flank. They really don't have the sense of urgency. The enemy on the western flank, while this is going on, oh, we're still alive. Kill him! Please kill him before he can kill me! Kill him before he kill- And look! Look! He changed his focus to someone else! And he died before his secondaries could get on me, or his primary. Somehow, we are alive. I don't even see the life pull on my, hit my ship. I, I see a lot of heal potential, but uh, 482 hit points left. And the Montana, the Montana and the Iowa all have over 90% life. You guys gotta push, man. Push it to the limit. And I'm like, screw all of this noise. I'm just gonna hide for the rest of the game. I've done 112,000, have had terrible, terrible gun dispersion. Probably three of the 10 to 15 salvos are worth it at all? That's a really low number. Just sometimes the Germans are on and sometimes the Germans are off. They do have, do they have the worst gun dispersion? I think they do, I think they do. But yeah, uh, I feel the Fletcher, he's, he's gonna come this way. I just know the Fletcher's coming this way. I know he's gonna come this way. But my team is like, not my problem. Do, 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 not my problem. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like, ah. I don't have the health to engage a Fletcher, a North Carolina, a potential Yamato, a Fletcher again, maybe even a Des Moines. I don't have what it takes and we're detected. Great. Don't see the target at all. That's just great. And they have this beautiful island they can fire over. All the American ships basically can fire over that island and I can't, I can't do any of that. So I'm gonna try and, re oh, here they come. Okay, so that's, that's five rounds. That's the Fletcher. Yep, that's the Fletcher. Still the Fletcher. Something with APs firing. What is that? That's uh, nine or eight shells. Yep, there's a Fletcher there. There's a Fletcher over there behind that rock. For a split second, we're undetected. I'm gonna just keep retreating. Heel's about to come back up. I'm, I'm I have no interest in the, ooh. A Des Moines showing a perfect broadside. Paul Oliver, hmm. It would be really fun, at least for me, probably not for Paul, if I could just broadside the crap out of him. <laughs> and uh, we do a quick check, you know, he's about eight seconds out. Elevate the gun slightly, depress the gun slightly, based on the mini map, and we let it, let it fly. Heal, of course, is going off. Enemy Fletcher and ah, Baltimore, get out of the way. Get the hell out of the way. I'm taking way too much damage. <laughs> it's not his fault. It's not his fault. It's not every day that a, ba a battleship is running like a little scare scared little girl. But I'm scared. There's like four ships on this flank and it's all me. They all want me. I might as well have a kick me sign. They all want this. They all want it. <laughs> they just... They just can't handle it, right? They, they, they want to take me out of the fight. The Des Moines shows up again. Eight seconds out. He is coming towards me on the mini-map. Depress the gun. Go for the waterline. We might get the accurate shots. Ooh. We did get accurate shots. He's going to feel that for a while. Feel that for sure. Can we get another salvo off before the island gets in the way? That's the real question. And you see how he's softening the, uh, the uh, angle? So I make sure that I also elevate the gun to the waterline itself. Two fires on my ship, I put them out, we follow it in, and we take out the target. 
Sure, the Des Moines is probably really angry with himself. But he's the one who made the mistake. He showed way too much side to me. And we are still detected by Fletcher. I'm sure the Fletcher is going to fire his guns because that's what they do. Ah, <sighs> yes. What do you bet? First salvo sets me on fire. What do you bet? What do you bet? At least we traded a little bit there. But I'm gonna die. <laughs> because he's really, really lucky. Why can't I be that lucky? I never get that lucky whenever I'm sending out shells. I never get the first salvo to set them on fire and know for a fact that the damage control is not on, and, you know. So we're just gonna, we're gonna die next to this little village. The game is extremely close. I will be watching it till the end. Our team has a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance, but the enemy team has a, a better chance, I think. They've got better destroyers, I, I believe, and they also have almost the same amount of ships with one more base captured. We are working to take that out, of course, but that's the case. What would I do differently? Honestly, I didn't feel like I did anything wrong. I over overly aggressive, for sure. But the fact that my battleships were so afraid to move forward to the point where I was basically dead says a lot about just the, the general mentality of battleships. They don't recognize they have an advantage on the flank. They don't want to support a teammate in their effort. They are thinking about number one, themselves. And that's fine, but it's not really going to get you to the next stage of the game. Yeah, sure. Oh, you could if you care about team play, just go in as a division announcer. That's a cute way to look at it, but the reality is I try and hook myself up with a potential teammate in every single battle. Whether it's a destroyer, whether it's a cruiser, whether it's an aircraft carrier, whether it's a battleship, and I try and enhance their potential by either protecting them from dying, which I, I think that's a that's a good reason to try and help your teammate. Make sure they don't die. You might not believe this, but them living benefits you more than it benefits them themselves. And my excuse for this is it gives more targets for the enemy and it enhances your overall DPS so you can continue to keep the pressure up. So even though they might not care about themselves, if there's a sliver of a chance that I'm gonna be able to keep them alive, obviously I don't wanna sacrifice my ship, but if I can trade a couple thousand, two, three, four thousand, maybe ten thousand, and keep a ship alive for the later stage of the game, I'm going to do that 99% of the time. Unless, of course, that person happens to be an a-hole. He's rocking that a-hole for sure. Then I'm going to think twice. I'm going to think, you know what? You need to upgrade from stock modules because I'm not willing to stick my neck out for someone like you. So the team is capturing A, obviously we capture A, trying to capture D. Obviously Baltimore's not gonna get a capture on it. It has to be the, from the destroyer, the enemy Fletcher. He's at an effective range. The Baltimore should be able to hit these shots now. Should is a strong word, not sir. It's not quite as easy as that, but I think I could hit these shots. I also probably play the game more than this individual, and that's fine. 10 kilometers is really where you need to be able to hit the destroyers. That's really how close they will come. That, that, they don't, I, don't, I doubt very seriously that any destroyer will willfully be closer than that. It's just the way it works out. Enemy North Carolina is pushing forward. We have grabbed hold of this game. I think the North Carolina is going to die. We've got the friendly Montana right in front. 1-1-1. One, 1-1-1-1. One, one. One, 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 one. Actually, it's three, four, five, it's five versus one Montana. For whatever reason, the Yamato's off in the, the other direction. Maybe he's going on vacation, I don't know. Don't do that. You're not gonna help your team. He was trying to stay near his max range, I think, and outrange every target. Well, he wasn't hitting any shots because it's very hard to hit at 22, 23, 21 kilometers. That, that, that's what I'm inferring. 
I could be completely wrong. I'm sure I am. I'm sure someone in the comments is going to be, no, no, not sir. He actually was the best player on the enemy team. <laughs> but this North Carolina is going to die. Fletcher, really? The enemy Fletcher got a torpedo strike on a friendly destroyer. Really? God. But North Carolina is dead. Team has secured D point. Fletcher is in trouble. He's only nine kilometers away from the Baltimore, even closer to the Montana. Tashkent, all these guys, we're going to capture A point, B point, C point, D point, and all that's going to be left on the enemy team is that lone Yamato. <laughs> and I did a quick check at some point, and he had like 80 or 90% health. Just a typical battleship player. I'm not going to pick on the player because that's just the way some people are. They think that because I have high accuracy single shot guns with high reload, I should use my maximum range as basically a sniper, not sir. I'm more inclined to say, damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead. Just rely on sheer will to overcome the scenario. If my team can't keep me up or do damage to the target, that's just the way it worked out. It's more fun barely surviving than having very little damage taken off and your team losing the game. It was a really close game. Very, very close. I think if I didn't kill the Des Moines and they still killed me, the enemy team might have won that game because the Des Moines is a very powerful ship and it was basically full life. It was a very critically important mistake by that player that he, oh, it's a survivability, okay. That's just the way it works out. Some battleships do that, some don't. Okay, well, we got two kills, 2,025 base XP. Tashkent did an awesome job. I am number two on the team. I can't believe I'm number two. 57,000 damage with secondaries. <laughs> yeah, accuracy was pretty crap with the guns. I hope you enjoyed that game. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.